Let us look at typhoid today. Typhoid is caused by Salmonella bacteria. Okay, so in this we will be looking at the bacteria, the classification of the bacteria, the antigenic variation, the pathogenesis, the lab diagnosis, especially Vidal test and also how to prevent uh, typhoid. Okay, so basically Salmonella is a gram negative, you can see it's a gram negative here, it is pink gram negative uh, bacteria it is. It is under this family Enterobacteriaceae. Okay, it causes enteric fever. Okay, these are motile, so they have a lot of flagella, you can see that they have flagella all over. They have uh, antigen, what and all antigens are present in them. You have the O antigen. O antigen is there in the cell wall. Okay, you can see it is pointing to the cell wall. Then you have the H antigen, which is the flagellar antigen. And you have the VI antigen, which is the capsular antigen. So basically the capsule is outside, right? So it covers the cell wall. So VI antigen will cover the O antigen. Okay, so you have understood the three antigens now. What and all antigens are there in Salmonella typhi? You have the uh, flagellar antigen, H antigen, VI antigen which is capsular and inside that you have the cell wall antigen O. So envelope or capsular will refer to VI antigen okay and somatic or cell wall will refer to O antigen. So you have understood this is the antigenic classification Kaufman white scheme for typhoid. Kaufman white scheme for typhoid. Now based on the uh, antigens you have the sero grouping and the serotyping okay just look at this. So you have the sero group, old sero group, look at this A, B, C, D, okay, old sero group A, B, C1, D1, there you have Salmonella paratyphi A, Salmonella paratyphi B, Salmonella paratyphi C and Salmonella typhi A, B, C, D, A, B, C and Salmonella typhi. These are the important ones, there are a lot of other uh, Salmonellas, okay. Now look at the O antigen, here you have 2, 4, 7 and 9, 2, 4, 7 and 9, right. So similarly, you, the new sero group is based on that, the unique O antigen 2, 4, 7 and 9. So here you can see 2 is unique here, 4 is unique here, 7 is unique here, 9 is unique here. 12 is shared, 1 seems to be shared and uh, 6 is there in uh, Salmonella paratyphi. Anyways, based on the O you have the new sero group 2, 4, 7, 9. Okay. So the old sero group was A, B, C1, D1. Okay. Then what about uh, VI antigen? VI antigens are present in uh, Salmonella typhi and paratyphi C is marked. Now H antigen that's the flagellar antigen has two things phase 1 and phase 2 it has there it is also very simple A, B, C, D phase 1 is A, B, C, D. So this is the table from the textbook look at this Salmonella, Paratyphi A, Paratyphi B, Paratyphi C and Typhi. The old sero groups are A, B, C1, D1. Now the new sero groups are 2, 4, 7 and 9. So VI antigen is present in what and all Salmonella, Paratyphi C, Salmonella, Typhi. What are the phase 1 antigens in H antigen? A, B, C and D and phase 2 antigens we are not going into the details. Okay. So this, this is what you have to know. Remember you are uh, in this Salmonella typhi you are writing T as capital. Para typhi you are writing P as capital. Unlike uh, Staphylococcus aureus etc. This is because here you are using the serotype. You are mentioning the serotype in the name. The genus and the serotype you are using here. Okay. Actually if you use... Um, the species then it will become Salmonella enterica it will become that time E will become small okay. There is Salmonella typhi murium here if you want to focus on Salmonella typhi murium. Salmonella typhi murium uh, it causes uh, food poisoning if you want you can remember it comes under sero group old sero group B. So you have understood now sero group serotype antigens sero group under that you have serotype okay. So you are done with the understanding of the antigens. Now let us look at the antigenic structure. You saw the antigenic structure already actually. O antigen, H antigen, VI antigen already known. Next. Next what is there? Typhoid antigen differences. So O antigen, H antigen, VI antigen. VI means virulence. It's capsular antigen. Right. So VI is capsular antigen. It means virulence. It covers the O antigen because O antigen is cell wall. Definitely O antigen will get covered. So this is a polysaccharide. What else you should know about it? You have seen that para typhi C and para, uh, Salmonella typhi have VI antigen. You have seen this. Then if you heat it for uh, 1 hour at 100 degrees centigrade, that is like boiling, you can remove the VI antigen and the O antigen will get exposed. Easy right? This antigen is not used in Vidal. Vidal test uses only the O antigen and H antigen. Okay. Now it is purely uh, poorly immunogenic. So you can use it to make vaccination. That's it. Some more information is there. There, If you want, you can read about that. 
Then H and tension is a flagellar antigen. It helps in motility. Obvious. Obviously, the serotyping is based on H antigen. Sero grouping is based on O antigen. You already saw that the unique O antigen two, four, seven, and nine, right? Based on that, you have the sero grouping. Serotyping is based on H antigen. Correct. So O antigen is the cell wall antigen. It is a lipopolysaccharide. It is sero grouping is based on O antigen. You have two, four, seven, nine. You saw. Other than that, you should know. Well, is there in the, these three? One is there in these two. Okay. Now this is heat stable, so it is heat stable and um, O antigen of uh, that's why you know when you heat it, VI will go and O will get exposed because O is heat stable. O antigen of Salmonella typhi is used in viral test. Remember, viral test uses O and H antigens. O of Salmonella typhi is used in viral test. That will have what and all nine and twelve. Correct? Nine and twelve Salmonella typhi. Then uh, it is less immunogenic. It uh, appears early. The antibody appears early, okay, and it disappears also early. So it indicates recent infection. Let us look at the H antigen now. H antigen is flagellar antigen. It helps in motility. The serotyping is based on H antigen. Guys, wake up. Uh, How is it going so far? Is it too much to understand? What and all we looked at now? We looked at uh, VI antigen and O antigen. Now we are looking at H antigen based on which the sero. Typing is done, okay. Okay, so sero typing is done based on H antigen. So you know that there is A, B, C, D, right? And uh, phase one, you have A, B, C, D. Salmonella typhi, which is monophasic, that is, flagellar antigens exist in two phases, phase one and phase two. Most of them are biphasic, but Salmonella typhi is monophasic. Let's confirm that. Wait, go back here and show us that Salmonella typhi is uh, monophasic. Yeah, it has D and it doesn't have anything here. So phase one is D for it, and phase two it doesn't have anything. Correct, correct. So that is Salmonella typhi is monophasic. Okay. Then where are we here? Okay. So then it is heat labile. Okay. And you use the H antigen of all the Salmonella typhi, para typhi A, para typhi B. You use in viral test. C you can forget. C we are not detecting. Okay. It is uh, more immunogenic. It appears late. H antigen, H antibody appears late. Antibody to H antigen appears late and it disappears late. So it will indicate convalescent stage. If O is there, it indicates recent inf infection. If uh, H is there, it indicates convalescent stage. And if VI antibody persists, it indicates as a carrier. Okay. So we are done with the antigens. Now we have to look at the antigenic variation.